Hey folks, as you see here, we have a Ruger American rifle. This one here chambered in the 30 6 Believe it or not, all the years I've been shooting, this is my first 30 6 hunting rifle. I have a Springfield 06 and a M1 Garand, but this is my first hunting rifle. So, pretty stoked about it. I've always wanted a nice 30 6 I actually, uh, you know, when I was first on the market for a hunting rifle, I, back many years ago, it actually came down to a Browning 30 6 or a Weather, Weatherby 7mm, and I ended up getting a, I was, I was going to buy the Browning, and then at the gun show, a guy was walking around with a Weatherby 7mm, and it uh, kind of made an impulse buy, and it was, it's been a great rifle. I don't regret it. Uh, but I've always kind of wanted a 30 out 6 and so this is it. And the price point on this is $450 uh, as a suggested retail. I don't know what they're going for online yet. I, I looked at Bud's and they, they didn't have them listed yet um, at the time I looked. But I am amazed that Ruger got such a nice rifle with so many features at this price. I'm amazed. And which is what I guess one of the reasons you know you see a lot of Ruger products on my website. I'm not a spokesman for Ruger or anything like that, but they've just been putting out a lot of uh, innovative products. And I know uh, you know a couple of months ago Savage put out a rifle and uh, a low price. I don't remember the model, and I've heard that that's a really nice rifle. Uh, you know for that price, but uh, and you know since I have experienced this one, I can tell you this one here is really nice, and I think a lot of people are really going to like this. And just comparing feature to feature, I think this Ruger comes out ahead of that Savage. Um, and I, I, this is not a comparison video or anything, so, you know. But this has a lot of really nice features. Uh, first feature I wanted to talk about is the adjustable trigger. It has this type of, uh, I don't even know what you call it, but the, the Glock trigger, if you will. And it Ruger calls it their Marksman trigger. And it's uh, adjustable, three to five pounds. I got mine tweaked down to three pounds, as low as it'll go. And uh, it's very nice, very crisp. Very impressed. The stock, and I, I still have the sticker on here. I was leaving it on for the video. Uh, the stock is very lightweight. It's composite, and I like the the grips on it. The grips on on the this uh, the hand grip right here. Very. Uh, the way the grooves are, they, they keep your hands sitting on here very nice. And the forehand of the stock, I really like it. It's modern, the way it's cut. And these grips on here are pretty nice too. And with, you know, on both these grips, they work really well with bare hands, of course. But what I found uh, where they really shined was when I had on gloves. I thought they worked really well. Kind of allow you to um, get in here, get a good grip, get your fingers on here. The recoil pad on here I also really like. It's very soft, it's wide, sits in your shoulder very nice, and handles the recoil extremely well, as you see from the cutouts. And these cutouts on here, they really match, you know, the grip and all that. They all go together really nice. And then uh, this little red Ruger here on the cap. The, uh, and of course, it's a four round magazine. Rotary magazine, which I really like. Other than my 1022, I've never had a rotary magazine. I know that's kind of one of the things Ruger likes to do on a lot of their products. Um, but I really like it. It's it, it uh, fed really smooth. They the rounds went in here really smooth. You don't get that the lat where the last round is really hard to put in on some magazines. Uh, you don't get that at all with this. Very smooth feeding, that's the most important thing. Key is though, is, is to not forget your magazine if you go somewhere. Um, and, and another benefit, I think, to me, to the magazine, if you buy an extra one, you can toss this in your pocket. You don't have to walk around with a whole bunch of ammo. And if you run out of ammo, it's just a quick switch. Uh, you don't have to sit there and feed it. The uh, one very interesting thing about this is the bolt. The bolt is a full diameter bolt and to get it out you just press right here 
it's not cut out like a lot of other bolts. And <clears throat> at first I wasn't sure, you know, I, I guess I've never seen a bolt like that, but I could tell you this bolt is so smooth. This might be the smoothest, one of the smoothest bolts I've ever used. I really like it. Being that it fits in the whole, you know, it, 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 the big diameter fits smoothly and uniformly the whole way. So when you cycle it, there's like no wobble like on some other bolts. It's very, very smooth. I really like it. And this be a piece of cake to cycle from your shoulder. Now, when I did the testing, everything I did was, was all bench rest. Um, I didn't do any firing from the shoulder, but if I was to do some firing from the shoulder, this thing here would be pretty smooth. You would definitely not even need to take it down. Off your shoulder. Uh, three lug. The, uh, and the, the bolt, is, in case you didn't notice when I had it out, it has a 70 degree throw. Haven't had any issues with the scope. I had a um, Redfield Revolution mounted on here. And uh, it also uh, dual locking cams on the bolt. Very smooth. Like I said, there's no play as far as a wobble. I mean, it's and you can see it fits this whole section here. It goes out. It's very smooth. It actually, I mean, it goes all the way up. But this section right here, especially, you can see when you when you take the bolt out, it just fits almost the whole. The entire 360 degree circumference of the bolt makes for very smooth and it, it fits very snug when, when it locks in place. I'll tell you, this is a great rifle. I really, I'm very impressed. The uh, <clears throat> has uh, what Ruger calls power bedding, it's integral bedding block system, and it also it has a free float barrel on it, which at this price point, not a lot of guns do. Um, actually, there's not a lot of good guns at this price point, uh, but it is a free floated barrel. The barrel's hammer forged and has a tain safety, which I really like. It's nice having that, that thumb up there. Don't have to move the finger at all. It's just right there. I'm kind of used to the, the tain safety, so I like it. The rifle itself is matte black, as you see. It's an alloy steel and composite stocks. The barrel is 22 inches long. Overall, the entire uh, rifle is 42 inches. It's six groove, weighs 6.25 pounds, with the exception, I believe the 308, I believe is just slightly lighter, if I remember correct. I think that one's like 6.15 or something like that. And uh, it comes in four chamberings right now, the 240 Winchester, 243 Winchester, the 270 Winchester, 30 out 6 Springfield, which this is, and the 308 Winchester. So, and I got really good uh, groups with it. You'll see when I, I took it to the range, it's a really gusty day. I tried to, of course, only shoot, you know, when there was no wind, which is kind of tough. It was a very, very gusty, very strong wind. Um, even so, it still grouped very well. I was very pleased. So, I'm sure you've probably heard of this rifle by now, but if you haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend trying to get one. And at this this price point here, this is perfect for everybody. It's a great rifle for somebody looking to get a nice rifle that doesn't have a lot of money to get into it. And conversely, it's also a nice rifle. It has enough nice features and it shoots well enough that somebody like me that has a few rifles, um, at this price point, you could still add it to your collection. It's very affordable, very affordable. In fact, uh, you know, at this price, you can almost not afford to have this gun. That's what I told my wife anyway. <laughs> so, anyway, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please do so. Semper Fi.